Well, good day, smart traders. I trust each and every one of you are ready for another profitable day within the market. Let's kick things off by having a look at today's economic calendar. Today's economic calendar got off to a roaring start with the NZD interest rate decision being released at 3 o'clock this morning South African Standard Time, where we saw an increase of 50 basis points on the Kiwi interest rate decision. This definitely already created some market volatility this morning. Later today, we can also expect the FMOC meeting minutes being released at 9 p.m. South African Standard Time, which is going to give us greater insight into the monetary policy outlook for the USA. Let's move on by having a look at what's making headlines within the financial markets today. In currency news, the pound soared as traders up bets on the Bank of England's rate hike after British companies unexpectedly reported the first growth in seven months. The sterling rose as much as 0.6% to $1.21, leading gains among the world's major currencies yesterday. After a S&P Global survey of purchasing managers also showed a sustainable increase in prices, the data prompted traders to fully price in a 25 basis point hike at the UK central bank's next meeting and up the expectation of the peak rate. Having a quick look at the analysis on GBPUSD, here we can see that GBPUSD is currently now moving in an upward direction as the momentum on this specific pair has changed. We did see a nice bounce on our support down at 1.195 and now we can see that it is trading in this upward channel. A nice clean break of this upward channel could see this specific pair rally and buy all the way up to that 1.24 primary resistance level. Now let's move over and see what's making headlines on Wall Street. Indices suffered significant losses as fear of high interest rates sapped risk appetite, while the United States 10-year yield reached a fresh three-month high. During today's session, market participants will closely be monitoring that latest FMOC meeting minutes as well as a speech from the FMOC member, Williams. Having a look here at our analysis on NASDAQ, we can see that obviously it's currently in a beautiful bearish trend. And on the one hour time frame, we are currently hovering just below that 8 EMA, also our dynamic resistance level. This could spark a further sell off and we could see even lower levels reach today, even as low as 11,900, which is also our next primary support level. Now let's move over to commodities. Oil prices slipped more than 1% in a volatile session yesterday as persistent concerns about global economic growth outweighed supply curbs and prompted traders to take profit on their previous day's gains. Demand for oil is decreasing as a stronger US dollar makes dollar-denominated commodities more expensive for holders of other currencies. Now let's have a look at our analysis on crude oil. Here we can see that on crude, we have now broken that support level at $77 a barrel. And on the 4-hour time frame, we can see a beautiful rejection on our dynamic resistance level, which is also our 8 EMA. This could spark a further sell-off today, and we could reach lower levels even up to that $72 a barrel level, which is also our next primary support level. Gold prices declined during yesterday's trade. Gold has been trading in a tight range for the week amid renewed concerns over more hawkish moves by the Fed, especially after stronger than expected inflation readings from January. Those coupled with signs of resilience in the US economy gave the Fed enough headroom to keep rising interest rates. Looking at gold on the one hour time frame, we can see that it is still hovering just above that 1833 level. Should this level be broken, this could spark a sell off back down to that 1824 primary support level. However, should this minus support level hold up, we could see a slight rally in gold back up to that 1844 level. And finally, let's finish things off with cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin failed again to clear the $25,000 resistance. Bitcoin is currently moving lower and might soon test the $23,000 support zone. Bitcoin is still facing many hurdles near that $25,000 resistance zone. This pair could decline sharply 
if there is a clear move below the 23,000 support zone. So that is it from us here at Smart Online Trader. Should you be interested in any additional services that we offer, kindly get in touch with us or simply click on one of the links in the description below. As always, may the post be with you. Cheers.